Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can make a super simple pinhole camera, just like this one here. Now it won't be taking any Polaroid pictures for you, but you will see something really cool once you've made it, and we'll learn a little bit about how our eyes and our cameras work. I've created this pinhole camera out of everyday items I could find around my house. So here we have two toilet paper rolls, a black pen permanent marker or sharpie, some masking tape or sticky tape, some wax paper, baking paper or tracing paper, a pair of scissors, a paper clip, and some aluminium foil. And that's everything you'll need to make this camera today. So the first thing we're going to do with our toilet paper rolls is make sure the inside of the roll is black. So I'm just going to grab my black sharpie and I'm going to colour inside with the black sharpie. When you're done, you should have two tubes that are looking pretty dark inside. As we can see, our black pen absorbs more light than the white, so that just catches any stray lights. The next thing we're going to do is to join the two tubes together like so. Use the scissors, cut a little notch, not too big, half a centimetre, into one side. Just do other side of the tube like so. Use the notches, slide it together so that the notches hook in and then you can just twist it and you'll get a pretty solid tube. We're going to attach this with sticky tape or masking tape. And by the time you've done this, you should have a pretty solid dark tube. The next thing we want to do is cut about three centimeters or so from the edge of the tube. So, and you want to cut nearly all the way around, but we're going to leave a little bit to hold it in place. This is going to be our lens, so we're going to use our wax paper and we are going to slide the wax paper into place in the tube. So once you slid it into place, use tape to hold down the two sides. And the third side carefully making sure that it is flat inside the tube. I'm now going to use more tape to attach the top and bottom parts of the tube back together with our lens in the middle now. When you're done, you should have a tube with a little bit of wax paper in it, held in place by sticky tape. It's now time to make our pinhole. Grab a small piece of aluminium foil and place over the top like so, holding down, create a nice light proof cover. We can hold that in place with a little bit more masking tape. Then grab a small pointed object, I'm just using a paper clip but you can use a recently sharpened pencil or anything with a, that will make a really small pinhole in our camera. So we're just going to poke a tiny, tiny hole in the top. And this is our pinhole and this allows light into the camera. We're going to use our last piece of foil to make our camera completely light proof. Just hold it in place with some, some more sticky tape. And this is our pinhole camera. It's got a tiny point that the light can pass through and it's going to pass through and then hit the wax paper inside. You put your eye to the other end and have a look through. 
It works best on bright days outside looking at the horizon or through a window or at a bright screen. But you want some contrast between up and down and left and right. So let's have a look at what you can see through your pinhole camera. Here we can see that the light from outside has come through the pinhole and it's shining onto the wax paper inside the tube and you should see an image. But this image is actually upside down and back to front. That means the light from the sky is shining through and it's hitting the bottom of the wax paper while the light from the ground is coming through the pinhole and hitting the top. And this is what our eyes and the camera are doing all the time. They are seeing an upside down and back to front image and our brains or the computer are flipping it around so that we see things the right way around. And I think that's pretty cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed making a pinhole camera with me today. If you have any comments, questions or feedback, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching.